The sun will never set on the Dan of- Oh! Whoa! That's not a one-hit KO. Hello? <laughs> Welcome back to another Dan Square video, you Danimals. Seven Star Pikachu is here again, and that's all I have to say about that. I've been enjoying shiny hunting the legendary Pokemon in uh, Dynamax Adventures and Sword and Shield. Join me on my shiny hunts on my TikTok streams every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Here's the star of today's video, Venusaur. Now, why Venusaur to take down seven star Pikachu? Well, because it's able to resist three of Pikachu's attacks. It is resistant to electric type attacks, so that's thunder, water type attacks, so that's surf, and then fairy type attacks, so that's play rough. The only one of Pikachu's attacks that we're not gonna resist is going to be Iron Tail. I'm going with Terra Grass for some big, super effective damage, and the Leftovers held item for additional consistency for the early game for this build. The full build and strategy is in the description. You can see it has max special attack EVs, max defense EVs, final four in HP, and a modest nature. To get this EV spread, use 26 calcium, 26 iron, one HP up, and to get that modest nature, use a modest mint. The ability overgrow powers up our grass type moves when we're at a third HP or less. Giga Drain is our main attacking move. I wanted to go with Pedal Dance to assure a big one hit knockout, but Giga Drain gives us just too much recovery. Sunny Day weakens Pikachu Surf and allows Growth to raise our attack and special attack by two stages every time. Acid Spray softens up Pikachu for Giga Drain. Once again, the full build and strategy is in the description of this video. Make sure to leave a comment with what Pokemon you're using to take down 7-star Pikachu. And if you're enjoying my content, please consider dropping a like or subscribing to join the Danimal Kingdom. Now let's see Venusaur in action. Time for this Kanto starter on Kanto starter crime. And yes, Pikachu is a Kanto starter. Turn one, use Sunny Day. Uh, again, the turn by turn guide will be in the description of this video. We're gonna use Sunny Day to change the boost to Surf from plus 50%, from Rain Dance to minus 50% from the Sunny Day. That means that Surf is gonna be doing half the damage that it would normally do to us. So now at this point, if you have an Intimidator, then Pikachu will likely switch over to Thunder, which will be a pain in the neck because it could paralyze you. If it paralyzes you, just use the Health Tier. But for me, it's gonna use Iron Tail because I don't have an Intimidator. So I'm gonna start using three growth. That'll put me at the plus six special attack and attack. Yeah, the defense drop, really not great, but I do have the ideal partner of Gardevoir right now. Gardevoir, one of the best for that life do, to supplement our leftovers healing. I do like the Intimidators, and I, if you want to go with a more consistent build for this, if you find that you're getting knocked out, you can replace uh, Sunny Day with Amnesia. Sunny Day with Amnesia. That way, you will... Uh, booster special defense, so you'll take less damage from Thunder and Surf. Okay, I've been bodied a little bit. I'm at minus two defense. So I'm actually going to go Giga Drain now before the next growth because I'm not going to survive an Iron Tail. So I know the description says, okay, use one sunny day and three growth. You should. But in this case, I got too low, so I'm switching it up. I'm gonna use two growth, one Giga Drain, and then the third growth instead of three growth and one Giga Drain. It's splitting hairs, but again, if you find that you're having trouble surviving or you're getting paralyzed, you can switch, there's the negate, good. You can switch out Sunny Day for Amnesia, and that'll make this build a little lower and slower, but you know, it's gonna be more consistent. The leftovers helps. You could also go Bright Powder. If you feel like gambling, if you want some more RNG, you wanna reduce the likelihood of Thunder and Iron Tail hitting, there you go. That's gonna do a lot of damage to, oh, wow, okay. The critical hit, so we're gonna we're gonna Giga Drain again. Man, okay. We thank you for those defense EVs saving the day. So we're gonna Giga Drain again. So it's gonna soften it up a little bit. I do kind of consider it a one hit KO. I debated whether or not I wanna advertise it as a one hit KO because in a way we'll do most of the damage in one hit, but I guess it's not truly a one hit KO. Okay, Pikachu needs to relax with the crits. Pikachu needs to relax. So I'm delaying the Acid Spray again. This probably isn't the best example, but I'm gonna keep it because I like it showing the build overcoming adversity. There's a critical hit back. All right, so heal me up all the way because take a drain, big time healing. Surf, no problem. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna switch to Surf instead of Iron Tail. So that's the thing where Amnesia would help better than Sunny Day defensively because we'd have that special defense way uh, raise the entire rest of the battle because Pikachu never negates our stat changes. So there's really a lot of things you can do that, uh, uh, any of the builds that raise your own stats, things like 
Contrary, Lorantis, and Superior are going to be really fun. But you can't pass up an opportunity to put two of the OGs against each other. It's really a pain. Those defense drops really a pain in our side right now. Because we want to just be acid spraying to bring this special defense down. But those because of those defense drops, we're going to have to deviate a little bit. So I'll put the caveat. If you get into yellow, you're going to have to get a drain. It just is what it is. Because ideally, we run the ball, everything goes well, right? Sunny day, three growth, one Giga Drain, three Acid Spray, one Giga Drain, a million damage. Looks great for the video. But you know what? That's not what always happens. So we don't want to always show you the best, best case scenario. Shout out to everyone who's actually still doing this Terror Raid, by the way. I know it's, uh, I didn't see a lot of action around this Terror Raid. I mean, it's a re repeat, but luckily for me, this is the one seven star Terror Raid I skipped. I wasn't making content yet about Pokemon and or, or content at all. And I said, you know what? I'm good. I don't really need a surfing Pikachu. But luckily I can get it now. But I mean, if you're watching this, you either really like the yapping or you're still playing Pokemon. So that's a let's see, that's a that's a lot of damage. We like that. That's a lot of damage. Easily solo. Easily solo. If we got the acid sprays off first, then we would have really knocked it down. I mean, at this point, it's really splitting hairs. You can. All right, I'm just going to keep Giga Draining then. That's crazy. Because of the defense drops. Because of the defense drops, I can barely survive one Iron Sail. Because I'd prefer right now to alternate Acid Spray and Giga Drain. That's what's... I mean, that's what's nice when you have the Intimidating allies, though. Because then Iron Tail isn't that much of a threat. So you have your allies with Intimidate. That's going to prevent this kind of shenanigans. Oh my god. I might not be able to survive one. That would be a real shame. Maybe I do want the metronome then. Holy cow. It's just about to... I guess, I mean... If you're watching it, then I did survive it. Otherwise, it's going into the vault and you're never going to see it again. We're so close. Hello? Okay, we survived. We survived. <laughs> Thank you for not using Iron Sail. Uh, much appreciated. <laughs> it's, 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 I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, Pikachu is fine. It's, uh, it's never going to negate your stats. You could probably have a safer run with using Amnesia on this, or you want uh, Intimidate Allies. Gardevoir helps with life, too. But the sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Venusaur is maybe my favorite Kanto starter? I can't decide. Well, that's a topic for another day. And now the ever important question. What Pokeball are you using to catch 7-star Pikachu in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I'm going with the level ball, the yellow with a little stripe. It looks nice. It looks like Pikachu. So let me know in the comments what you're using to catch 7-star Pikachu. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Giga Drain on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Pikachu season.